Hi, my name is Barbara Rasco, and I wrote a children's book called M is for Majestic, and it helps to teach adjectives or describing words, and it's also interactive. So let's see what we can learn together. M is for Majestic. Agile. A is for Agile. The Agile deer makes it look easy to jump over a fence. Did you know that a white-tailed deer has the capability to jump 15 feet high? How high can you jump? Bashful. B is for bashful. Can you find the bashful deer hiding behind the tree? What gives her away? Did you know that the average span between a mature mule deer buck's ears is 20 inches to 22 inches from tip to tip? Are you bashful or bold? Clever. C is for clever. Look at this very clever bison. He chose to lead the others to leap over the lowest beam in the fence. Did you know that the massive bison can jump up to six feet? Can you think of a time when your idea made doing something easier? Dappled, D is for dappled. Look at these darling dappled fawns as they pose with their mother for the picture. Did you know that the spots on the fawns help to camouflage them and keep them safe? A warm coat helps to keep you safe during the frigid winter days. Can you think of another item of clothing that will protect you from the weather? Exquisite. E is for exquisite. The exquisite dragonfly looks as if it's made of fine spun gold. Did you know that dragonflies eat insects, including those pesky mosquitoes and gnats? What insect do you think is the most beautiful? Frisky. F is for frisky. After running around the big rocks, it looks as if this frisky chipmunk stopped to take a moment to smell the bright yellow dandelion. Did you know that like the enormous grizzly bear, chipmunks also hibernate in dens during the winter months? Do you like to run and play outside when you have a lot of energy? Graceful. G is for graceful. The graceful swan is enjoying a peaceful swim across the lake. Did you know that the trumpeter swan is the largest of waterfowl family? and they can live for over 20 years. Have you ever seen a clumsy animal that made you laugh? Healthy, H is for healthy. The healthy marmot is munching on fresh green grass for his lunch. Did you know that the marmot sometimes communicates by making a whistling sound? That's why they are sometimes called whistle pigs. Eating fresh fruits and vegetables help us grow healthy bodies. What is your favorite healthy food to eat? Inquisitive, I is for inquisitive. The inquisitive grizzly bear cub stood up to see the crowd that was gathering to take his picture. Did you know that the grizzly bear cubs will generally stay with their very protective mothers until they are three years old? Are you curious about things? What would be an excellent job for a person who likes to ask questions? Jovial, J is for jovial. The jovial prairie dog family looks like they're taking a fun ride on a roller coaster. Prairie dogs are very social little critters. They are close relatives to chipmunks and marmots, not dogs, like their name suggests. What is your favorite thing to do as a family? Keen. K is for keen. The keen wolf will use his extreme hearing and sense of smell to hunt for food. Did you know that wolf pups are born deaf and blind? What is your favorite smell? Lofty, L is for lofty. The lofty bald eagle soaring high in the blue sky is a beautiful symbol of courage and freedom. Did you know that bald eagles aren't really bald? They're called bald eagles because of the white feathers that cover their heads. If you could fly like an eagle, where would you go? Majestic, M is for majestic. The majestic bighorn sheep confidently climb along the rocks and crags high in the Rocky Mountains. Did you know that the massive curled horns on a mature ram can weigh up to 30 pounds? Another fact, the pupils in their eyes are horizontal, giving them over 300 degrees in their field of vision. Easier to spot predators. What is the grandest animal that you have ever seen? Nurturing. N is for nurturing. The nurturing mama bison cares for her calf. Did you know that all bison calves are born with a reddish brown color? K 
calves are able to stand a short time after they are born. Can you name different ways to care for a pet? Observant. O is for observant. The observant red-tailed hawk is able to see a small mouse from a hundred feet in the air. Did you know that the red-tailed hawk likes to hunt for their food high from the treetops or telephone poles? Are you an observant person? Do you easily notice the little things around you? P. P is for powerful. It is very smart and important to remain a safe distance from the very powerful bison. Did you know that the American bison, also referred to as a buffalo, is the largest North American land animal? The bull can weigh up to 2,000 pounds and can run up to speeds of 35 miles per hour. How fast do you think you can run? Quirky. Q is for quirky. The quirky face of the moose is almost cartoon-like. Not only does the moose have a very long face, but did you know that its muzzle can droop over its chin? Can you make a silly face? Radiant. R is for radiant. The radiant wings of the swallowtail butterfly are so vivid in the bright sunshine. Did you know that there are over 500 species of swallowtail butterflies? They also come in a vast variety of beautiful colors, and they taste with their feet. Some people think yellow is a happy color. What color makes you happy? Sparring. S is for sparring. The sparring bull elk practice and show off their strength on a chilly winter day. Did you know that the high-pitched sound that the bull elk makes is called bugling? There's a saying, practice makes perfect. Is there something that you practice every day to help you improve? Twin. D is for twin. The twin pronghorn calves remain very close to their mother. Do you think their mother can tell them apart? Did you know that the pronghorn, commonly referred to as an aloe, is the fastest land an animal in the Western Hemisphere, and they can run up to 60 miles per hour. Can you name two identical items in your house? Untamed, U is for untamed. The untamed horse represents the spirit of the West. Do you know that untamed horses can be very dangerous? If you could name a wild horse, what would it be? Vocal. V is for vocal. Early in the morning and late in the evening, the very vocal meadowlark's sweet song can be heard across the prairie. Did you know that the western meadowlark is the state bird of six states? Montana, Kansas, Nebraska, North Dakota, Oregon, and here in Wyoming. What is your favorite song to sing? Whimsical. W is for whimsical. The whimsical black bear cubs play under the watchful eye of their mother. Did you know that the long, sharp claws on the black bears allow them to be great tree climbers? And when the cubs are high in the top of the tree, they are safe from predators. Do you have a favorite game that you like to play with your friends? Zillinous. X is for zillinous. The zillinous cottontail bunny looks so furry and soft. Did you know that the cottontail rabbits get their name because their tails look like a white piece of cotton? Can you name other things that are soft like cotton? If cotton is soft and wood is hard, do you think a cottonwood tree would feel soft or hard? Why? Why is for young. The young mountain bluebirds are hungrily waiting for their parents to feed them. Did you know that the main diet of the mountain bluebirds is insects? What is your favorite snack? Z. Z is for zealous. The zealous fox remains focused on its prey. Did you know that foxes don't live in packs like their relatives, the wolves? For the most part, the fox is a solitary animal. They hunt and sleep alone. Is it easy for you to stay focused on a task? Or do you tend to daydream?